Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving instantaneous speed. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says, in a 30 mile per hour zone, a police officer points a handheld laser gun at a potential speeding car. The gun gives him a reading of 50 miles per hour. Later, a different police officer sees the same unlucky car travel between two markers on the motorway with a speed limit of 70 miles per hour. By recording the time taken for the car to travel between the two markers and knowing the distance between the two, she obtained a reading of 80 miles per hour. Part A says to state the average speed of the car. Well, this is simply just to get you to be able to pick out from the scenario what you think the average speed is. Well, in this case, when we have two markers and we measure the time taken for an object to travel between the two markers separated by a known distance, that is the same as measuring the average speed. So we can say that the average speed is this one here, so it's 80 miles per hour. Part B then says to state the instantaneous speed of the car. Well, that must be the one mentioned in the first scenario, which is found using the handheld laser gun. Because remember, that is a way to find instantaneous speed of a moving object. So we can say the instantaneous speed of the car at that point is 50 miles per hour. And lastly, part C says to explain the difference between average and instantaneous speed. Well, here we just need to know the two definitions in order to say how they're different. So we can say the average speed is the total distance traveled by an object measured over the total time taken whereas instantaneous speed is the speed of an object at a particular moment in time. And remember, average speed is the average over a whole journey, whereas the instantaneous speed of an object will change throughout the object's journey. Question 2 says, in a classroom, a trolley travels down a ramp. The trolley has a mask of width 10 centimetres. If it takes 0.2 seconds for this mask to pass through the light gate, calculate the instantaneous speed of the trolley at this point. Well, first of all, we need to note that the distance here will be the width of the mask. And then writing down what we know, we're trying to find the instantaneous speed V. We know the distance D is equal to 10 centimetres for the width of the mask, which is the same as 0.1 metres. And the time is equal to 0.2 seconds. So writing down our equation for instantaneous speed, we have D equals VT. And rearranging for the instantaneous speed V, we can divide both sides by T to get V equals D over T. Substituting in the numbers, we get 0.1 divided by 0.2, and that's the same as 1 over 2, or a half, which is the same as 0.5 meters per second. Lastly, question 3 says, in an experiment to determine the instantaneous speed of a trolley, the following information was obtained. So we've got a mass of the trolley is equal to 0.5 kilograms, the length of the card in the trolley, 5 centimeters, distance traveled down the ramp is 1 meter, time taken for the car to pass through the light gate is equal to 0.05 seconds, and the time taken for the trolley to travel down the ramp is 1.3 seconds. It then says calculate the instantaneous speed of the trolley. Well again, just like in question 2, whenever we're dealing with instantaneous speed, we need to take the distance to be the length or width of the card or mask. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the instantaneous speed V. We know that the distance D is equal to 5 centimetres because that's the length of the card on the trolley. And we need to convert that into metres to give us 0.05 metres. And then the time is going to be the time taken for the card to pass through the light gate, which is 0.05 seconds, not the time taken for the trolley to travel down the ramp. So we can say the time is 0.05 seconds. And writing down our equation for instantaneous speed, we have D equals VT. Rearranging for V, we divide both sides by T again, just like in question 2, to get V equals D over T. Substituting in the numbers gives us 0.05 over 0.05 and because we have the same numbers here that will give us out 1 meters per second. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.